We're in Slovakia. <laughs> <And he's... laughs> <No>. Bye. <laughs> Ciao. <laughs> Really treacherous road. Really stunning view we came along on this horrible road. As Tal says, it looks like Canada. We just entered Czech Republic, and by and large, the roads are way better. The cathedral we were just in, <clears throat> hearing a choir practice, and being Monday, we suspect that the, uh, the palace, which was the home of a, an archbishop, I gather, in the 1300s, is closed. Of three sizes, I believe. It's actually glass art done with letraset dots. A very narrow little country road in Moravia. This chain I bought from England, which is completely uncuttable with uh, bolt cutters. We're in Skalni Mlin, which is the caves. We're going to be exploring tomorrow in a lovely looking hotel. It's 1390 Czech crowns. It's about 80 90 bucks with breakfast. Very charming place. Very cool little tunnel. It's nine degrees Celsius. Nine degrees. This one's pretty cool. We're walking back to the hotel through this very nice empty forest, but what's interesting is that <clears throat> in a two and a half kilometer hike, we didn't see a single chipmunk, or a squirrel, or hardly any insects. Now this is an amazing rock. It looks like it's upside down, and like it's top heavy, and it probably is, and I don't know how it stood all this time, but it's pretty remarkable. And uh, apparently it weighs 40,000 kilos. And uh, some people with a great sense of humor have put some sticks on the bottom to show it's held up. Very cute. This Gothic gate was apparently built in 1839 and leads to a bunch of narrow pathways. And you see the rocks are like inches apart. Major huge rocks. Really surprised they haven't fallen on each other all these years. This rock looks like a sculpture, but it looks, I think it's for real, in the middle of this canyon. These are called the lovers. Apparently, 100 meters high. At the very top, there, somebody climbed up there and put a Czech, Czech flag up there. There's an, an erection rock pointing at the lovers. We're at the very top here. This is the Great Panorama. And it really is quite, quite interesting, beautiful. A bit like the Badlands. Spach, the second bedroom. Look how nicely they make it with a maple leaf. <laughs> right in front of our house. 
Highly recommended hotel. Hotel Agrasbach.com or .cz. We're in the central square of this charming Czech town that we stumbled across last night, and I can't remember the name of it. And we're having coffee, and met a great, great teacher named Hunza. Very nice kid. Really nice kid, 22 years old, perfect English. Very smart kid. Well traveled, has a good perspective on the world. I'm not sure what this is, but it's a three wheel. So, what is this? Trabant. Trabant. Kali Kroki. Vyrobeno, no, Trabant. Agregas Trabant, it's a vlastní Aha. 2004. What's this key? I'm on flat cylinder and low tact. A what's going on here? Everything is complete. It's just a little bit. Fantastic. Another Trabant. Muscle car, Czech style. This kid gets to cut off. Hey. One end of the Charles Bridge. It just doesn't get any prettier than this. This is a uh, Czech Monacan piss. True art. Just pick the car up. Holy shit. You drop it on the tow truck. This is Prague from the castle. Gothic stuff pretty well here. This is behind the castle. Big cathedral up the hill. This is major jubling on our street, Jerusalemska. Really, quite a spectacular synagogue. Never seen anything like it. Apparently, inside is even more beautiful, but they're only open one to five, and it's not that right now. The crowd waits for the big moment of the cuckoo clock. So according to Margaret, the guy got his eyes poked out after he built this, so nobody else could copy him. Oh, that's cute. Or he couldn't make a copy. No, I get my eyes poked out for that. The figures are beautiful. <laughs> That's it. That was just waiting for. <laughs> That's the moment we've been waiting for. <laughs> Woo! 
All right, so let's all rush to the same restaurant. This is Ed's, Ed's observation, how far we've come in 30 years. This is St. Nicholas. Major bling. This is one of the little sub chapels. So here we are in Chesky Kumbalov. Beautiful day and warmed up, fortunately. Pretty impressive. So TP in Chesky Kumbalov. Thank God. TP. Well, Canadians copied that. That's where it came from. Escrafito or Escrafiti. But very, very nice effect. They carve out the stucco. Sedlik Chapel in Kutnahora, which is famous for being largely decorated with human bones and skulls. It's pretty weird. And uh, the brochure doesn't explain why he did it or why they did it. They just did. Chandelier of human bones. It's quite charming. Quite weird. It's such a cliche to say gasp and amazement, but the fact is one must gasp in amazement that this was built in the 1400s with the most primitive tools. The flying buttress is a brilliant concept for transferring the pressure of the huge dome outwards. And it's withstood the test of time. It's just amazing engineering. And here's the gargoyle strumming his banjo. Gothic Madonna. It's the oldest statue in the whole church. This is pretty amazing construction. It's unbelievable. It was done in the 1400s. I don't care what religion you are, this is remarkable. Pretend you're happy. Pretend you had fun. We ate a lot of good food. Did you have fun? Lie. Fun. Come on, lie. Did you have fun? Bye. Budapest from the Citadel.
big town. Thoughtfully, they did it in Braille, too. Very nice. Check out the mosaic roof. King Matthias Church inside. It's really actually quite stunning. Quite different than the French or Czech. High mural detail. Painted on. This is the garden of the synagogue in Budapest. And this is a weeping willow of aluminum, apparently commissioned by Tony Curtis, the old actor. And uh, there are leaves all over it. With a memory of people's names who died in the Holocaust. And a friend of mine her father put a few leaves on in honor of people who died in Auschwitz. Stunning sculpture. This is the most Catholic looking synagogue I've ever seen. And in fact, it was apparently designed by um, an architect who did big Catholic churches. It's pretty stunning, actually. Very nice, very impressive, and apparently the second largest synagogue in Europe. The Hungarian Jewish population is now about 10% of what it was. A traditional house, I guess. Beautiful thatching. Whoa! This guy is flying. It looks like a cross between a sheep and a pig. You're in longhorn sheep. Long, twisty horns. We're in the town of Bugak, right near where the horses are in the National Park. This is the narrow gauge railway, and it's really narrow. Two and a half feet. Well, I don't understand why it's so narrow. So you can't get much stuff on it. And it's not particularly straight, but apparently they still use it occasionally. And here's Towie listening to List. Hmm. Here we are in Romania waiting for the cows to pass. Nice yeah. cows. Hitchhiking is still very common. Oh, oh they got a ride. We just crossed to the northern Romania through a wonderful pass in the mountains. Major twisties. They decorate their front gates. Really quite fancy. You can see it immediately. Stop for a coffee in this beautiful little spot. Totally quiet. And here's the <coughs> restrooms. And here's the totally practical urinal. We're driving along, heading towards North Romania. And I just happened to notice this place, so I slammed on the brakes and checked. It's quite the little cafe. It's cute. And he has a little aviary here. If it's a and it's a 
face mare. Ha. Pe cuvânt, așa de frumos să-i... Mă, am făcut și eu. Fabled, heavily painted gravestones. It's apparently famous around the world. They all show pictures of people, what people do. This guy was evidently a butcher and smoked a pipe. People gathered wheat, they were farmers. She knit wool, cooked. Nice detail. Beautifully hand painted. Oh, there goes the bike's alarm. It's doing its job keeping people distant, though. I suspect this guy had problems with his car. Some kind of headache. He's a communist, important man, I guess. <laughs> Your son. They keep their pig in the backyard with their pumpkins and their chickens and their haystack. Here's our hostess at the pension and her mother. Mother. <laughs> the kitchen. Uh huh. Who makes them? You make them? You make them? No. Yeah? Uh -huh. Any blankets? Here we are in Segasura, home of the birthplace of Vlad the Impaler, aka Dracula, subsequently. Built around the 13th century. Many of the towers were built then. This tower dates from the 13th century, and this is the oldest occupied citadel in Europe. Is that right, Tommy? Barsana Monastery, which is, I guess, kind of Greek Orthodox. It's very beautiful. Very impressive shingle work. Almost perfection. This is what Ceausescu built as uh, his his monument. It's apparently the second largest building in the world after the Pentagon. It's unbelievably ornate. This is what he did with the poor people's money. He uh, confiscated many city blocks to build it. And he built a super wide avenue here that uh, is intentionally longer and wider than the Champs Elysees by just a few meters. Ridiculously huge. Huge, huge, huge. Not beautiful, just huge. 330,000 square meters. 330,000 square meters. Here in our first town in Bulgaria. <laughs> <laughs> Are you the hotel owner? I'm chef, chef of the hotel. A chef of hotel. Nice hotel. We like hotel. Thank you. Get on the bike. No, no, no. Better go to Tarnava in Bulgaria. 
on our first day here. And this is the largest citadel apparently in Bulgaria. Very pretty. It's a pretty spot in the Bulgarian countryside. We're on our way to Sofia. Very nice highway. Very nice hills. And as you can see at the top there's some snow. In Bulgaria, the centuries meet. Cutting grass the way he's always cut grass. Hello. Okay, Philip and Vasco, thank you so much. Your hospitality You're very welcome has anytime. been too, too kind. Permanent. No yeah. No problem. When you're building a house, you talk to me. It's one for you. You don't have to buy. It. Just stay there. Unfurnished. Huh? Unfurnished. <laughs> this is Plovdiv Main Square, the big walking street. It's very attractive. Kind of the uh, most fashionista part of Bulgaria we've seen. It's right on the edge of some very cool Roman ruins. It's an amphitheater. It's uh, been restored and kept in great shape. And they built a discotheque over it. And this cat is enjoying it immensely.